So last night we had a major voters listening experience which went down in Salt Lake City. Now, this event was highly anticipated, one, because we just got the new project, Vultures 2 from Ye and Ty Dolla Sign. Plus two, all week, I've been hyping up a new Yeezy drop, which based off the fact that to my knowledge, I don't believe we've ever had a Ye project that didn't drop without new merch. So I felt like it was a no brainer. But I did mention to you guys yesterday that I was kind of keeping my expectations in line as even hours leading up to the event we actually didn't have any leaks of the new merch but it looks like once the doors open we did get a shot at the merch booth which did feature the original vultures one merch which is cool because people could pick that up in person for just 20 bucks it does look like we have a new two t-shirt which i'm not really able to tell based off this image but it does seem like it's not a boxy or fit kind of like the original box one t-shirt and more of just a standard t-shirt probably just like your regular concert type of merch but we also do have official merch from the arena partner which they did team up to drop official jazz merch so if you guys are interested in picking this up that stuff was not exclusive to concert goers you have the new yeezy merch available right now so if you guys want to pick up these jerseys head over to jazzteamstore.com you have the option of a white or black jersey different graphics with the jazz uh, logo on the front and then you have your option of the vultures on the back with the one number the two for the new record or a 808 which i'm assuming has got to be for 808s and heartbreak so new yeezy merch available right now jazzteamstore.com just be aware it is a pre-order and the retail 150 bucks which is 20 bucks over the 130 dollars standard price that they do regularly charge for jerseys now once the event began yay and ty dollar sign walked out to the intro record stars yay was rocking this full 3m fit looking like slender man out there with the crazy extended shoulders now, I want to say fans were probably a little disappointed once they heard the V1 intro, but once they ran through all the Vultures 1 records, Vultures 2 did begin, and I just want to say that the album sounds incredible with this live listening experience. It was definitely a vibe. Ye did bring out his kids to perform their little record or whatever, and we did get some updates, actually some changes to the record, where it looks like the record that was previously titled Maybe and was renamed to Forever now features a new Ye verse, and it sounds great, man. That record sounds really nice with the new verse it actually went from being one of my least favorite records from the project to now being one of my favorites so can't wait to hear the updates on streaming services once they ran through all of the tracks it looks like the whole stadium blacked out you have fans chanting for one more record yay and ty dollar sign seem to have like walked off but then they kind of went back in, started playing some new records some uh medley of like previous yay hits so you had runaway uh, good life, you name it, can't tell me nothing, a whole bunch of yay hits. And then to finish things off, they played the uh, once unreleased record, Can You Be, which yay then popped out with a whole new fit on, which was a really cool moment. He actually popped into the crowd, started showing love, dapping up some fans. So really cool to hear Ye finally listening to Can You Be. Definitely in great spirits. Once he took off the mask, it was really see, cool to see our bro, like real happy and just living life, just rocking with the fans like that. And on top of that, we got a first glimpse at a new Yeezy fit right here. So I'm just assuming based off this image right here, we can expect to see this as some new Yeezy merch, which should be hitting Yeezy.com very soon. So as far as the top right here, which I'll probably notice is extremely cropped right here. Apparently this translates to Yeezy. I'm not sure uh, what the original language is. And then we have another glimpse at those sweatpants, which I want to say he was rocking previously for like a little outing with the kids or whatever. For me, pants are a must t-shirt. I'll go ahead and cop it just for the uh, fit and everything like that. But one thing that I'm not seeing a lot of people talking about is his choice of footwear, where again, it's kind of difficult to tell what's going on from these clips right here, but he has an unknown white type of footwear on. We know previously he's been rocking those Vibram shoes or whatever, but these seem to be a little bit different. I did see a couple of people saying white Yeezy pods, but these seem to be a little different than Yeezy pods, which is awesome because I'm anticipating new Yeezy footwear. We know things have been delayed for a while now and potentially we got new Yeezy footwear coming alongside new Yeezy merch so I'm anticipating to see the stuff that we see right here plus more stuff coming to Yeezy.com soon the vultures listening experience I feel like was great it exceeded my expectations which I did mention I was keeping things low so we got new merch available right now jazzteamstore.com
yeezy.com. Potential new merch coming to yeezy.com soon. We got more listening events to look forward to in Asia and probably more dates being added to the list right now. So I would say it's definitely a great time to be a Ye fan. Uh, we got the new album out right now. Potential new merch on the way. So. We're definitely eating right now. So I just wanted to check in with you guys on this wonderful Saturday here. You know, just wanted to get y'all's thoughts here on the whole listening experience. And curious to know if you guys picked up any of the merch from the Jazz official store. And if you're excited for new Yeezy, which I'm assuming is on the way. So drop your feedback down below. If you guys enjoyed this quick little update, please help support the channel by hitting that thumbs up button down below. So I'm J.A. I'll catch you guys next time. In the meantime, stay safe, stay blessed, and I'm out, y'all. Love.